All right, GFM, so the draft is coming up on this Thursday, and I've been putting off making this video because I've just been, oh, excuse me, crazy busy lately. So today I'm going to do a Giants 2017 mock draft. Last year I did, uh, I think, for 2016, I did the round, not round, picks 1 through 11 or 12, I can't remember. I think I did up until after the Giants, the pick after the Giants made, after they took Eli Apple, I can't remember. But today... Right here, I have written down rounds one through seven and who I believe we should take. Now, I'm only doing this as if my name was Jerry Reese. But, you know, this is only who I believe we should take. And if I was in his position, who I would take after, you know, I'm not the biggest college guy. But when it comes to the draft, you know, I do do my homework. You know, I do, you know, look up all the top guys. You know, I spent a lot of time looking at, you know, Pat Mahomes, who I have high praise for. That dude's going to be a star. Um, you know, Deshaun Watson, Trubisky. Um, Davis Webb, you know, Don, Deontay Foreman, the linebacker, Marlon Mack was also in this draft. But um, today we have rounds one through seven. Uh, you know, round our first pick could go either way. We could go linebacker, we could go tight end, we could go running back, we could go lineman. And you know, this is a very deep second round of the draft. You know, you can there's a lot of talent in the second and third rounds of this draft. We do need tight ends. We do need a running back. We do need linemen. We do no, not not linemen. We do need somebody to push Eric Flowers away from the left tackle because he's a god awful left tackle. So I'm gonna kick it off round one, pick 23. I have the Giants taking linebacker Jared Davis from Flo uh, Florida. This dude is a beast, man. He's freaking huge. I think he's like six what six three, two forty five. I believe it. He might be six two. I can't remember, but he's a big ass dude he's a hog he can play sideline to sideline he can cover when you ask him he can stop the run when you ask him he can hell the dude can rush the passer the linebackers middle linebacker middle linebackers really don't normally rush passers that much but th this dude can stop the run he's a hog he can tackle he can make all the tackles when he tackles he tackles to remove the ball he doesn't tackle just to stop you this dude tackles to make you fumble this dude belongs in our defense. He's a great fit for our defense. And I would love to see the Giants take Jared Davis with their first pick in the first pick at number 23. Second round, I have us taking Taylor Morton, a lineman from Western Michigan. This dude's a big ass dude. He can block. He's highly underrated. I've seen some tape on him. You know, he's not as talented as, you know, Ramscheck or Bulls or Cam Robinson. But I have him going up to us in the second round. This may change. We may go a running back. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I do address the running back position later on in the draft. Later on in my draft here. Taylor Morton, he's got good hands. He's good at pass blocking. And you could, little, you could use a little bit help with run blocking. That could be coached up. So I have us taking Taylor Morton out of Western Michigan. Now when it comes to adjust the tight end position. Now I, there's many tight ends here I could go with. Uh, you know, if we don't go tight end in the first round, taking David and Joku, because I don't believe that OJ Howard will be there, or if we trade up for OJ Howard, um, <coughs> I have us taking Jake Butt, a tight end from Michigan. Now, I don't know. I would also rather have Evan Ingram from Ole Miss because the dude is, is versatile. You can use him as a you can use him as a slot receiver too. But we don't really need a need have a need at the slot receiver with Sterling Shepard and plus signing Brandon Marshall and all that Beckham to be in the outside of the numbers and Sterling Shepard to play that slot to replace Victor Cruz. So Jake Butt, tight end from Michigan, come over to the New York Giants in round three. Dude's a great great run blocker. You know, he could use a little bit of help in the pass blocking scheme. But, you know, he's a pass catching tight end. You know, he's got great hands, great size. You know, he's definitely a red zone threat tight end that we need. Jamal Adams, you know, he's more of a blocking tight end. He's not more of a pass catching tight end. We do need somebody to, you know, take some of the pressure off that middle, like third down, you know, like third and three, third and four. We need a tight end that Eli can trust to throw the ball to and convert on third downs, and I believe that Jake Budd is that guy. If we Evan Ingram is available in the third round, which I don't think he will be, I would definitely take Evan Ingram over Jake Butt any day if Evan Ingram's available in the third round. But if he's not, Jake Butt would be the best tight end available. Number four, running back. Now, today, before I made this video, a lot of news dropped with uh, LeGarrette Blunt having a lot of interest in playing for the Giants, and the Giants have an interest in signing LeGarrette Blunt, so hopefully that happens, but if that doesn't happen, 
I would say we draft Samaje P. Ryan, a running back from Oklahoma. This dude is fantastic. He's great. He's a great runner, elusive. He's got great hips. He's patient. He can catch the ball. He can block. This dude is great. A highly underrated. I saw him on Game Changers, and I'm thinking, wow, this dude's got a very good, bright future. You know, if you put him, but he's not really, you know, he's not a third down back. He, you know, he could be a third down back, but he can be an, <coughs> you know, a th like a, what am I trying to say here? He could be a third down back behind Paul Perkins, or you can pair him and Paul Perkins together and have a one two punch. So my JP Ryan is highly underrated, and I think he's going to have a fantastic career. And I think if he's available to us in round four or three, either one, we take Samaj P. Ryan, and he's going to be a great asset to this offensive line, not offensive line, to this offense if we do not get LeGarrette Blunt. Round five, a lot of controversy with the quarterback. A lot of crap of us taking a quarterback in the first round. I don't think we're going to waste the 23rd pick on the quarterback, really, when Eli can pretty much play for us for maybe about another two or three years. Uh, but I would say, yeah, we do look towards the future after for life after Eli Ryan Nazib has shown that he, he can't be the future. And we don't know what Geno Smith will bring, and I don't think he is the future of the Giants. So as a fan, I'm thinking we take a quarterback in round five and the best quarterback available because, you know, a lot of the guys will be gone. Watson will be gone. Chubisky, Mahomes will be gone. So that leaves... A guy that I think is highly underrated, Davis Webb, quarterback from Cal. This dude is really good. He's probably the most pro-ready out of all these quarterbacks. Great arm, great pocket presence. He's not the he's not the not a good not a good runner when you get him running uh, running out of the pocket. But he's got great awareness. He can read defenses. He he can tuck the ball and run when he needs to. He's sneaky, and I love that in him. And I would think he would be a great fit to eventually take Eli's place they down the road round six I think we add depth at the defensive position at the defensive end position to take Brian Cox a defensive end from Florida this dude is also uh he he's not really a put your hand in the ground kind of guy you know but he has a problem with uh he has a problem with getting open uh you know on from shedding a block you know he has a lot of potential you know, but I don't think, you know, it's a round six pick, so he might not even make the team. But I th I think he can be a good player, you know, in a rotation with, you know, like JPP or Olivier Vernon. So I would think we take Brian Cox. And our final pick in the seventh round, we take Damian Mama, a lineman, a tackle. No, not a tackle, a guard from USC. This dude is, he's a big dude. He's one of those big Samoan dudes. He's really, really nice. You know, he's got great blocking. You know, he needs a lot of help in the pass block, a lot of help because he's very sloppy when he does pass blocking. But, you know, again, it's a seventh round pick. A lot of these guys in the bottom of the bottom of the rounds, bottom of the seventh round, they don't really make the team. They just really take somebody just to take somebody to add depth, you know, but he could be a good lineman down the road, you know, once, we, you know, if we do somehow, God forbid, lose Justin Pugh or Rich Berg. He can also play center. He's a better fit at center than he is on a guard position. I don't think he, he's played center a few times at USC, and he's a hell of a better center than he is a guard. So let me go run through this real quick. Round one, Jared Davis, linebacker, a big-ass dude who can freaking help our defense even more and get better and better. Round two, Western Michigan, Taylor Morton, a, a tackle from Western Michigan. Round three, Jake Butt from Michigan, a tight end. Very great passing, very great pass catching tight end. Samaj so P. Ryan in round four, running back, an elusive. He's going to be an X factor for this offense, and I hope we get him if we don't sign LeGarrette Blunt. <laughs> round five, Davis Webb, a quarterback, like I said, probably, in my opinion, the most pro ready out of all the other guys in the draft. Can read great, great arm, can read the defenses, and I would love to have him eventually, you know, succeed Eli Manning. Round six, Brian Cox. And then round seven, a big ass, the big ass, uh, Damian Mama, a guard from USC. So that's my mock draft for the Giants this year. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes. Pick twenty three. You know, the far, like I said, you know, our first round pick could go either way. We could go lineman. We could go tight end. We could go running back. Hell, there's a lot of talks about us going quarterback, and I hope we don't go quarterback because I don't want to waste that pick on a quarterback. I really don't see us trading up from 23 up to maybe, I don't know, 15 
or so because it was really like I feel like if we do take a tight end I feel like Ninjoku will be there at 23 uh if the Giants are really high on OG Howard then make the trade up for him just don't give away a lot maybe give away a fourth rounder give away maybe give away a fourth round this year and maybe a fourth round next year just to get him because he's a great pass catching tight end and he's going to take the top off defenses in OJ Howard in my opinion same with David and Joku Jake Budd as well so I hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to give a, drop a like drop a comment hit that subscribe button if you're brand new let me know what you think the Giants are going to do in the comment section I'll see you guys next time go G fam